Yeah, no. It's all about the gold. Hey everyone, thank you for watching Yankee Stacking. Truly appreciate you jumping in here and watching this video. <laughs> no more silver for me. <laughs> I'm jumping on the bandwagon, the no more silver bandwagon, at least for now, okay? Right now, I'm focused right there, or actually I should say right there. Gold, specifically, the quarter ounce Canadian maple leaf. That is what I am focused on stacking right now. Um, I'm actually trying to get an entire tube of these beauties. I love the maple leaf. It's so iconic. So gorgeous. If I can focus there. <laughs> I love that. Yes. 24 karat gold. Quarter ounce as a minimum. I want to try to reduce my uh, premium as much as possible. That is my focus. I'm going to try to build what someone in the community uh, called the Yankee Musket. <laughs> I love that name. I'm going to use it. <laughs> so I got the Yankee Cannon. Now I'm going to go after a Yankee Musket. So I'm going to give you three reasons why it's about gold and not really about silver. At least for a few weeks, maybe months. I don't know. We'll see. But you know, it's been a very interesting time. We all know what premiums have done. We all know what the spot prices of both silver and gold have done. Uh, it's been a little frustrating, I have to admit, especially since uh, I can't seem to get a hold of precious metals uh, that easily anymore. I talk to Tim probably every day, uh, at least I text him every day, and I ask him, you know, what's the what's it look like? Are you going to be visiting the wholesaler? Can you get a hold of some quarter ounce Canadian maple leaves? He says he's going to put a few aside as soon as he gets them, so that's nice, but he's unable to get them. Plus, we're in a, um, well, uh, what should I call it? A uh, stay-at-home uh, scenario right now in New Hampshire, so only essential businesses are open. Well, I'm very glad that my business is considered essential, but for some bizarre, strange reason, a local coin shop isn't considered an essential business. <laughs> I think that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I understand what why they would not deem it an essential business, but it keeps the business closed, and that's frustrating to me. So uh, I'm still trying to maybe do a few exchanges of fiat for some gold on the side during this period because I really don't want to have to wait another month to buy any precious metals from him, but we'll see. This has been a crazy time. It, I'm not going to make this all about uh, macroeconomics, but realize what's happened. Okay, the Fed went all in. Even though they had no real ammo for the stimulus, they tried anyways. They went to zero, just like I predicted they would. And I told my friends and my family and, and you too uh, that they were going to do that. They would go to zero. You know, mark my words, they're going to go negative. They really are. Um, and then fiscal policy went berserk. I mean, Checks are going to be flying all over the place, right? You're going to get one in your bank account, hopefully in a few weeks, they say, right? <laughs> I think that's like pouring gas in a car with no wheels. You can give money like crazy to people, but if they are fearful and they're not going to spend it and they're going to save it or pay down debt, which I'll talk about in a minute, it's not going to work. So this recession is a foregone conclusion, okay? And I think it's going to be potentially a depression, all right? It's not going to be V-shaped. It's, it's going to be a significant problem for many, many months. But it's been really difficult to get a hold of the precious metals. I get that. I'm so happy I finished my monster box in time because this would have been such a frustrating time to try to be getting silver eagles. I feel bad for people that are right now trying to fill uh, you know, their monster box or, or, or reach their stated goals for 2020. It's frustrating. I had a, a goal of filling my half dollar guardhouse box 
And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. And nor am I prioritizing that right now. It'll happen, but not now. So again, it's not about the silver right now. It's about gold for these reasons. Number one, I want what the nations around the world want right now. My LCS dealer, Tim, nailed it during my interview with him right up there uh, when he said that silver is barter between people and gold is barter between nations. I'm going to put that as a tagline somewhere on my channel, but that is just, that is fantastic. So, you know, li liquidity, all right, was poured right into the markets, right into the economy, okay? And the concern for liquidity is pretty much no more. I mean, the, the, the Fed stated it. They're going to put as much liquidity as needed. There is no bound. There is no limit. It's, it's, it's infinite as far as they're concerned. And I feel that the government with fiscal stimulus is pretty much in the same boat. So liquidity isn't the issue. But there is fear. And that fear is over rising interest rates. Uh, rising inflation, rising unemployment, uh, the fear that spending is going to dramatically drop, which I believe it is. I mean, really, come on. What are you going to do with your stimulus check when you get it? I've talked to a few people and I'm hearing this. I'm going to save it. <laughs> I'm going to reduce my debt. I'm going to buy some more food. Not exactly what the economy really needs for us to do. They, they need us to go out and get those flat screen TVs and buy new cars. And I think a lot of people right now are afraid to do that. Okay, I think there is massive fear. And I think that is why there is a huge rush to gold. Look at the price of gold and what it's done. It's kind of left silver behind. You know, silver... Silver is not really a monetary metal, folks. This Silver is an industrial metal. There's fear over industry being negatively impacted that, that the, the need for silver to supply um, goods for, for the nations is going down. They don't need as much silver, okay? So I think that is another reason why silver is lagged and gold is shooting up. I want to be a part of that. I want more gold. And here's another piece of information that I find absolutely fascinating. We hear a lot about the ratio of uh, gold to silver um, and how it's at all-time highs. So that's fine. And I have my own opinion on uh, that gold to silver ratio and what it will be uh, going forward. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. What I want to show you is a different ratio. It's the equities ratio to gold. Equities to gold. Equities are dropping fast. Check this out. This is the Dow to gold ratio. You can see there on the far right how it's dropping. Now, to understand this chart, the bottom is when the Dow is worth very, very little as compared to gold or vice versa. Gold is worth a lot compared to uh, the, the, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Back in 1980, it hit an all-time low. Uh, I believe it was February of 1980. You can see right there, 1.3. The ratio was almost one-to-one, -one. okay? So it was a, a very tight ratio. And then, of course, after that, we had the big run-up for <laughs> decades to when it hit the dot-com bust. So at that point, it dropped started to drop, it hit the Great Recession, it dropped again. It's interesting to see how that turned around right about in 2011 when gold hit its peak. Gold, as it went down, the stock market started its next bull run, but it was still not as high as its all-time peak. But then with this um, pin that broke uh, the bubble or started to deflate the everything bubble, you can see it dropping. It's going down. I believe that that ratio of the Dow to gold is going to plummet over the next year. I think we're going to see it precipitously drop to maybe 1970s style ratio. I don't know if it'll get to one to one. That's quite extreme, but I wouldn't be surprised if it gets down into the single digits. 
for a ratio. And it's the same thing with the S&P 500 as it compares to gold. This is the ratio I think you should be studying and looking at very carefully. All right, so that's the first reason. The second reason why I'm all in for gold right now is the premiums. Gold's premiums, yes, they have risen, but nothing like silver. The, the premiums on gold are much smaller, and, and I like that, all right? Even if I have to pay more than I did a month ago, premium for silver is obscene right now. I'm not spending $10, $12 over spot to get a one-ounce uh, Silver Eagle. <laughs> So that's the second reason, the premiums. The third reason, believe it or not, is availability. It's hard to get gold right now. I understand that. But it's going to become more available quicker, I believe, than silver. Now, it's partially due to supply. I mean, look at this chart. Annual silver supply is smaller than many companies. But you can see the annual gold supply and how much more that is for silver. A lot of people will argue that's good. The supply is very, very small. That means the price is going to jump, Yankee. Once, once it takes off, it's going to shoot up. Yes, I actually do think silver is going to shoot up. But I also think it's going to be a lot harder to get your hands on it. So I was talking with Tim about the availability of gold. He's looking. He thinks he can get gold. Silver is going to be a real challenge for quite a while. So... I really think right now, for that third reason, that availability reason is uh, another reason for me to go after gold. And one other point about its availability and, and how I think um, you can get a hold of gold a little bit easier than silver is that a lot of people feel that gold is out of reach for them. They can't buy it. You know, to, to pick up one of these for $1,600 is a big deal. And I don't blame them. It is a big deal. But, you know, a quarter ounce, a quarter ounce, just over $400, that is something that you can save for. It's something I'm doing back here with another overtax taxpayer's uh, gold envelope idea. Putting money, fiat in there, taking the time. We have time, right? <laughs> We're not going anywhere. The stores are closed. It's really hard to find silver. So save your money. When you get your check from the government, Put some of it in an envelope and save it for gold. So there you have it. Three reasons why I am not stacking silver right now. Stacking gold. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. Check out the links below. There's some really good ones in there. And as always, I hope your day 